it's not an engine, it's a box. Ah, but can boxes talk? All right, then you're not a box then. You're a um, rectangle with a face. Oh, the humanity. The audacity of it all. Every single time I take those self-righteous steam engines to task, they succeed. I challenge them to everything under the sun, and they always come out on top. I hate it, I hate it. I hate Austin and King Henry. I hate Leander. But Leander doesn't have a brain. Leander? What? Do you remember what your challenge for this month was? Um, no. What is it? I told you that the challenge was to travel from London Paddington to London Euston via the underground in 20 minutes. Oh, I didn't think that was possible. I did travel overground to Euston though. Well, that can only mean one thing. You failed the challenge. <laughs> For the first time the steam engines have failed. Yeah. Oh, shame. <laughs> that was easy. I, I mean, well done to the diesels. <laughs> oh, I could cry. He got me by the short and curly whirlies. Austin, 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 Austin. Calm down, Leander. No situation has ever improved with panic. What's wrong? The King's father succeeded. Oh, that's good for him. I always thought he was a built loser, but it's lovely to see that he's easy, 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 easy succeeded. How? Well, uh... The challenge was to, uh, something involving the London Underground, I don't remember. But now I've lost and it's all my fault. I'm so sorry, Austin. Uh, what did you want me to do? What do I want you to do? What do I... Hmm. Good question. What do I want you to do? It's our shed now, suckers! <laughs> what I want you to do is get a media crew. And if you're feeling uh, especially sneaky and morally depraved, a baseball bat. But predominantly the media crew. We need to use the power of film to get the word out. How does this make you feel, Rude? Where am I supposed to learn my lines now? It's curtains for all of us. Absolute liberty. Not rude. Not rude at all, just honest. <coughs> I do apologise. It seemed that there was either something in the coal chute, or I've got a bummed up nose. It was the only shed I've ever called home, aside from Crewe, in Bristol, and that shack outside Birmingham. Now, owing to personal circumstances, I used to be camera shy. But this situation is so serious it requires me to say, Come on, King Father, what are you playing at? He is serious. He's not insulting me for once. Be quiet, Boston. In fact, why are we even here in the first place? Because you were in a movie and we need the power of a retired actor to bolster our campaign. Your name sounds similar to mine and you're both from the Epi Valley. Need I go on? And that shit before that. And the shit before that. And the shit before that. And... Would you believe it? The shed before that? Ah, oh, victory is sweet. It feels satisfying that my scheming has paid off at long last. Oh, Lewis, you know something? What is it, King Father? It's awfully lonely at the top. For so long I wanted to beat those steam engines and now I have. And now I've got what I wanted, it feels hollow. So what you're saying is you need a new challenge to replace the old challenge? Precisely. I mean, look at those two diesels over there. They're fast asleep. They're not even gloating about how we've won. Come to think of it, there are an awful lot of engines in this yard that always have their backs to us. Mammoth? What do you have to say for yourself? Well, you must have got out of bed on the wrong side, Mr. Copperseat. You never call me by that name. Come to think of it, you never talk to me at all. Yes, you terrify even me, and that's something. But anyway, if you really want to prove you're the kings of the shed, then very well, you do you. But you are going to do it right this time. 
Mr. Galliers has four little engines that need to go to a steam rally in Pontypool this weekend. Now you two gonna take two of his engines, and two of the steam engines will take two others. Whoever can successfully complete the challenge set by the Pontypool prankster, as he is uh, called, apparently. What, what, are you serious? We worked hard to get where we are now, and you want to take it away from us? Just like that? How dare you? Having said that, the challenge sounds appealing. Bring it on. Isn't this exciting, Waldo? We haven't been to a rally on a train in a long time. Appreciate it while it lasts, seems. We're only going by train because John Littlebill's in hospital, having his eyes widened from all the ordinary things he's done over the years. Before we leave, I would like you two to know this is a two-hour journey. We will not be making any unnecessary stops, except for signals, refueling, and bathroom breaks if needed. What about if a meteor... We will not be hit by a meteor, Eves. I should hope not. I'm too lovely to be struck by a meteor. Don't mind, Eves. She's just thinking of the time John Littlebill summoned an asteroid to destroy his chest opponent. You know, Austin, you sound stressed. Maybe you need a holiday too. I don't need a holiday. Sorry, didn't mean to shout. I don't need a holiday. It'll be fine. In the end, I'm sure. Now, will you all follow me on this journey of a lifetime? Austin, I would follow you into the sun. Though, understandably, not out of it. We will fight them on the park benches! We will fight them on the helicopter pads! In the nightclubs, in the kitchens, in the factories, in the museums! We will never surrender! I wouldn't be surprised if that's what Churchill originally had in mind. <laughs> This used to be my old stomping grounds for many years. Good old Pontypool. I could cry. Hey, did you see that engine at the signal? And his sunglasses! I didn't get it either. What are sunglasses? Well, Leander, they're glasses that protect your eyes from the sun. They also make everything look dark. Fashion can be strange like that. Well, I've heard of singing glasses, but sunglasses? They must be the lasses I've already finished singing. Yeah. I wonder what the Pontypool challenge is gonna be then. Hey, howdy fellas! Are you passing through or staying? This is our final destination, thanks. Wow, well, our final destination. I was expecting somewhere a bit more symbolic than Pontypool. Maybe something a bit less morbid next time, Waldo. I expect you are here to know what the Pontypool Challenge entails? Well, you've come to the right engine. Have you ever tried... mindfulness? My mind is always full, yes. Do I win? No, 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 my friend. I'm the dude of Gloucester. The one and only 71000. When I'm not pulling trains, I like to take five minutes to just stop. Allow my mind to flow like the river and the trees and the wind. Time does not exist. I've been saying that for years. Time, like everything else in life, is a social construct. Yeah, yeah, my friend, you're getting it. I want you to close your eyes. Imagine you are in a shed somewhere in Barbados on a beach. The Caribbean sun is shining warm and bright, and you have not a care in the world. There is not a single other noise you can hear, aside from the quiet rushing of the waves and the exotic seagulls in the far-off distance. I didn't know they had railways on beaches in Barbados. While you are here, nothing can disturb you. How long are those engines gonna be here? I need the good siding in 12 minutes. 
He had a good signing in Barbados too. Who'd have thought? I want you to focus your energy solely on your wheels. Imagine there is no other thing in the world except for your wheels. You may notice the pressure as they stand on the rails. Hold on, if I was just my wheels... Leander, I'm concentrating. As you snap back to reality from the meditation, you are free to go about your day remembering that at any point where you feel stressed, you can relax on your tracks. Congratulations, you've passed the Pawnee Pool Challenge. Enjoy the rest of your day, visitors. I bet he's the Sandman, isn't he? He could probably sing me a dream if he had it in him. It's the glasses, I'm telling you, it's the glasses. They're supernatural. Are you ready to scummon to the might of the diesels? Yeah, like are you? <laughs> There's no way you'll pass this thinking, father. Oh, I've just remembered. Marvin the Martin, I mean Martin the Marvin, sorry. Marvin Martin the Manor needs his post train arranged. So I'd better go fetch fruit for him. Post haste. Enjoy the trip. Wait a winky dink. I've just seen visions. We're going to encounter a strange agent at Pontypool who will enrage the Kingfather and clitazomize his patients. What on earth is she talking about? On earth? Oh, please, she's never talking on earth. Why, hello, travelers! Welcome to your final destination of this journey in your road of life. Beat it, Shades. And for the record, it's a railway, not a road of life. Hey, hey, no need to shout, no need to yell. Just calm down and... Oh, do bugger off. I've got a title to uphold. With all due respect, sir, I am the Shed Pilot here. And unlike the shunters you may know anywhere else... I am not the engine to be pushed around. I am the dude of Gloucester, the 71000. You can't use a five digit number to intimidate us! You say that, but five digit numbers can be awfully scary when they're bills. Taxes, even. Capitalism is no one's friend. You may be aware of a challenge you have to do in order to be the king of the shed. The challenge, I can confirm, is to meditate. I am a train, <laughs> get it? Meditator. I can make you relax your soul. I don't have a soul. I can vouch for that. Oh, you like to meditate? Story flamtastic. I do that too. Since when do you meditate? I do it before I go to sleep, ruler boy. I tried it once, and then I got hit in the face with a lemon rang pie. Would not recommend. Meditate? You want the King Father to meditate? What poppycock? I hope someone bumps into you in the night and does something undesirable to your sunglasses. It's an empty fret, maybe, but hey, I'm proud of it. Oui. That King Father really is his own worst enematization, isn't he? Oh, man. You've made me angry now. You have made me very angry. Very, very angry indeed. Do you know how hard I work? How many hours I spend grafting and toiling trying to run my trains? You diesels are all alike. Good for nothing show offs who think because they're modern that they're better than anyone else? Well, guess what? Technology evolves. In 20 years, you'll be just like us, and better things than you will come along. Mark my very words. Quick, let's get out of here before he unleashes the gates to hell. Oh, no, 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 you don't. You are going to relax on your tracks whether you like it or not. Yay! Oh, I'm beat. I'm beaten. Someone decommission me. 
I've met my match. I've met my maker. There's no more left for the King Father. Ah, 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 four hours it took them. Four hours. Only took us ten minutes. And it was all thanks to you. You were a champ. You ran rings around them. And us at first. I aim to please the mind. Crikey, am I resting? Right, back to reality. I need to fetch the vans for the milk train to Cardiff, and Royal Scat's sleeper train, uh, and then, oh yes, uh, the LMS barbershop quartet. Again, I don't know why they've hired me. It's just the way it is. I really should try and find an LMS tank engine to take over my duties. Oh yes, it feels good to be back. Have I missed anything? Oh, King Henry, you missed it. Thomas the Tank Engine came round yesterday. Rap, rap.